Alright, how you guys are doing? Um, this is the Reviews King again. Here we go. We have the um, LG VX9400 from Verizon Wireless. Uh, this phone is kind of old. I think it maybe might have came out in 2006. I'm not sure exactly. Then we have the iPod Touch. No, I was about to say the iPod Touch, but the um, iPod Nano First Generation. Latch scratches on the back, kind of. It's a 2 gigabyte model, but, uh, it works, I guess you could say. But I don't, I, I do use it, I do, but, um, I use my iPod Touch, too, so, yeah. You saw in the other video, if you watched them. So, yeah. And I'm, and I do think there's gonna be somebody else with me in the reviews king, so it might be the reviews kings. Uh, it's my friend Patrick, he kind of came up with the idea of to do stuff like this. Kind of. But uh, I kind of like to do this a little bit, too. So, yeah. Let's, uh, get to the... Let's get to the good stuff. Really. So, right here, we have the LG 9, VX9400. Um, it comes with a 1.8 megapixel camera with a flash. So, that's pretty good. That's a, that's a good feature, I guess. The speaker volume, it's actually pretty good. It's kind of loud. And, um, this actually has mobile TV on here, actually. You can see it has a TV button right there. Right there. And then it shows you a signal. I don't know if you guys could see that exactly well. Has a TV signal right there, but yeah. Um, and it has an antenna right here. If you guys didn't know, it has an antenna like that for your TV. So don't just think it's like a calling antenna. Really, it's not really so much. That's what it looks like. So you're probably gonna be like this, watching TV. Um, and it does have the feature of it flips up or slides up. It's a, uh, it's a kind of a good phone. It's the phone that I use. So, yeah. Um, it goes like this. Like that. And, uh, yeah. It's, uh, part of it's black, and then the rest is silver. Um, it doesn't have a full keyboard or anything like that. It just has the numbers, and then you just text people with, like, the letters that say on it and stuff like that. Um... You have your end and send button, uh, you got, you got text message, you got your contact button right here, uh, you got your clear button, your center button, just to uh, get to the main menu, and then you just look at your stuff, but yeah, um, it holds, I don't want to say a great amount, it, it holds an all right amount for pictures and videos if you don't have a micro SD card in it. For example, I have a 2 gigabyte micro SD card in here, so it kind of holds a lot of stuff, I guess you could say, so it's pretty good and all that. Let's get to the iPod Nano first generation. You guys are probably thinking, oh, like, why why is he doing a video with the i the uh, iPod, oh, sorry, I guess, the iPod for iPod Nano first generation, right? I don't know, you know, it's just a review to do, really. But yeah. Um, let's take a look at it. It's kinda bright. Let's see what we can do to get that, uh, let's see. Uh, let's get that brightness down. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, see. Brightness, brightness, brightness. Um, there's, you can't really see that much stuff. I'll just maybe put it like that. But yes, it has like a touch sensitive, uh, scrolling kind of thing. You guys probably cannot see that, I'm guessing. So yeah. But it's kind of a bright screen a little bit, uh, as you can see. It's not really, you know... Not bright enough. Let's just, let's hold on. Let's see. Okay, here we go. You got your music. You got your photos, artist songs, extras, and settings. And let's see what else. Shuffle songs are now playing. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's bright screen, kind of. But yeah, and you got your hold right here. The silver part, some of the silver came off. This is kind of an old iPod. A little bit, so yeah. I'll just put that in sleeper mode, or not so much shutting it down, but I'll just put it in sleeper mode. It looks like a lot of scratches. I have two dents, yes, I know. My brother gave me this, but you know, I mean, it's at least just a free iPod. I mean, it was good, it works still. Still, it's a 2 gigabyte. I don't know if you guys can see that right there, but yeah. Um, it's alright. 
and it's pretty good. I just kind of wish I had a little bit more gigabyte on it. At least maybe 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 a four gigabyte. That would be pretty good. And it had if it had a video setting on it, so I could watch some you know videos and stuff. Sorry guys, I was kind of yawning there, but yeah. Yeah, but let's get back to here. Um, the battery time is pretty good on this phone. Uh, you don't exactly want to overcharge it, which means keep it on the charger for long. Or say, if you try charging it like um, overnight, and it keeps going, and it says um, full charge on already, you don't exactly want to do that. I kind of did that before, and it kind of loses your battery time on the phone a little bit. So, yeah, but, I mean, it still works. I mean, I might have to get a new battery. If it, I mean, I don't want to say if it gets that bad, but, yeah, kind of. If it gets that bad, then, you know. So, yeah, and it has a press OK to unlock feature, so, like that. And then you can go to your settings and stuff like that, and you can make it, uh, you press the OK button two times to unlock it, so you got to be like us, pretty much. But yeah, I was just kind of going to the settings and the contacts list, I guess you could say, or going to the uh, contact part. So yeah. Um, overall, it's a pretty good phone. You know, it's on Verizon. Uh, Verizon's actually a pretty good network. I guess you could say it's better than AT&T. Sorry to, to all to you AT&T people out there, AT&T fans, I guess you could say. AT&T is not exactly the greatest. I heard some, I don't want to say some bad stuff about it, but kinda, I guess. Um... Like, you can't call people, like, where Verizon does. And in the commercial, it says Verizon makes a big deal about their maps. But it's actually kind of true when you think about it. Because Verizon, they kind of do have more area than AT&T. But, yeah. And the thing I noticed, I went to the mall the other day with my friends. Um, and there's, like, two AT&T stores, or actually... No, well, I don't know if it was two. But AT&T had their own store. Instead of Verizon, they had their own... They had their little booth out in, like, the hallway, I guess you could say. Or the aisle part of the mall. But AT&T had their own store. But... I guess you could say, I don't get why they had their own store when Verizon has more of a... Kind of a better network, I guess you could say. This may not look like a review to you, but sorry. You know, I'll go over some features. It it does have Vcast Mobile TV, Vcast videos. You can get new pictures. Uh, you can old pictures, videos, picture place, take pictures, record video. Um, your main stuff is get it now. You got music and tones, pictures and videos, games, news and info, tools on the go, extras, and that's about it for get it now kind of stuff that you'd like. Uh, messaging, new message, inbox, sent, drafts, voicemail, email, mobile IM, chat. Contacts, new contact, contact list, groups, speed dial, uh, my name card, and that's about it for contacts. Recent calls, missed, received, dial, all, view timers. So yeah, it's uh, pretty good. Settings and tools. This is, I think this is about the last one right here. So you got settings and tools, you got my account tools, sound settings, display settings, phone settings, call settings, and... Bluetooth menu, memory, phone info, and help. You can change the feature right here. You can make it to a Verizon feature instead of an LG feature to it. And I'll maybe get to the little bit of mobile TV. Sorry, guys. I don't have mobile TV mobile TV on here, but I'll show you, like, the beginning of it. Welcome to VCast Mobile TV from Verizon Wireless. We're setting up your phone to view TV shows. Meanwhile, I'll let you know what to expect from VCast Mobile TV. See, so yeah, that's about it. Okay, I'll see you guys later. Bye.